What's up, issue? For today's video, we're the full Small of Evolution team. We got Small of, Doll of, and Arbolivia. This is the last three stage evolution I've got to do in Generation 9. Now, these Pokemon are pretty interesting and get some quite unique moves and abilities. I'll be using three of each, so normals and the shinies, for two different movesets for each of these Pokemon. I've got three battles today with this team, and it was a rather long video due to some of the builds I was running that were quite bulky. First battle here, this one is against our Derek, and we have a pretty cool team here. Now, I have a question for everyone. Is anyone's favorite Pokemon of all time, like, you know, Small of Dolov or Arp Olivia? Let me know in the comment section of the video. Uh, if you want to support the channel and the video, make sure you hit that like button, drop me a comment below too, and let's get into it. So we got a Dido lead here. It seems to be a special attacker with Nasty Plot. Now, I've got this little Small of, it's a Bullet Seed Loaded Dice Set. There really wasn't too much I could do to it. Dino. So I had Bullet Seed, Flail, Endure, and Facade. I had Max Health and Max Attack out of nature, and the item was a Loaded Die. So I tried to get as much damage off here as possible. Um, I also cut out like the little gap in between when you do like Bullet Seed, because it just takes forever, so it looked like rapid fire. Unfortunately, Smolov is going to fight there, so I'm going to go into my next Smolov. Now, this Smolov is a special set. I've got uh, max special attack and max health. Early bird as the ability, uh, same as the other one. And I've got max health and max special attack. Leaf Storm, Earth Power, Weather Ball, and the Terra Blast with the Terra Water. My first small I've had Terra Grass. So they're going to get hit by a Snarl here, dropping my special attack. I'm going for a 50 base power Weather Ball there. And yeah, that's probably just enough to take it out. I wasn't really sure if that was Everlight or not. Now, there is a same team here as well for my opponent. So let me know in the comment section if you can guess it. Next Pokemon is going to be uh, the, I don't know, I said that, Dino against Zwellios. Zwellios is going to wreck me there with a uh, Fire Fang. So that's pretty scary. I'm assuming is a Hustle Set. So I'm going to go to my uh, first uh, believer here. This is my Quick Claw one. So I've got Terrain Pulse, Dazzling Gleam, Earth Power, and Strength Sap. Uh, this one has got Max Health and Max Special Attack EVs too. So this is like a Focus Energy Zwelly I'll set. I just went for Dazzling Gleam there, and that is going to be enough to take it out. So I think it was probably running something like maybe a Scope Lens as the item, uh, or maybe Everlight, one of the two items there. I believe it might have been Scope Lens with the Focus Energy. So where comes the Iron Jugglers, and I'm going to go into Dollar here. Probably the first time you've seen Dollar views. So Dollop actually has quite a nice special defense stat, and this is a really, really fat build. So this is Rest, Leech Seed, Strength Sap, and Giga Drain. It's very, very bulky. So I've got the EV spread as Max Health and Max Special Defense. I've got Calm Nature. The ability is going to be Early Bird as well, and I've got Rest. So with Rest and Early Bird, it makes it very, very tanky because I can go to sleep for one turn, and after one turn, I wake up. So... You know, I only need to lay asleep for one turn, and then I can you know, go for a uh, strength sap to get my health back. I can drop the attack of the opposing Pokemon, and then you know, I can set up Leech Seed as well, so it's quite good. And I've also got Giga Drain for just a little bit of extra sustain there. And of course, the item is going to be Everlight. So I got my Leech Seed up here with my other Dollop, and this is my, oh, this is my Sunny Day Growth Set. Now, this isn't quite as bulky, but it is still a uh, pretty fun dude. So, on this one, I've got Sunny Day, my favorite healing move, Giga Drain and Growth, Max Health, Max Defense, uh, Bold Nature. Now, this is going to have Harvest, and it's going to have Citrus Berry. Harvest is a pretty nice ability, but, you know, when you're going to get Harvest to work 100% of the time, generally, you need some sun up there, so it can be, uh, you know, difficult to run. So, this is my last up, believe it, here. This is my Seed Sower set, of course. So, let me just uh, bring it up. Okay, yeah, this is my quick little one that I've already explained for. This one was probably like the best attacking set on my team. I've got Terra Ground on this in case any like uh, fire types come in. I can go for a you know, really powerful Earth Power and change my typing around. That's going to be the end of the uh, uh, Iron Jugglers. And now comes a second Iron Jugglers. It's going to have the Quark Drive. Quark Drive is going to be boosting its special attack. So we've also got a Terra here because this is actually their last Pokemon. They only brought four Pokemon 
uh, long here. But uh, let me know if you can guess what the team is. And no, it's not a Dino Evolution team because remember, there's no uh, there's no Hydreigon here. So we got a Terra Steel here, which is a good, uh, definitely a good Terra to run on uh, this. And I just lived that flamethrower. Like I believe it's quite bad. I went for a dazzling gleam, of course, there, but that was before a Terra. So uh, this has got Flash Cannon too. So that's the end of I believe it. So I've got uh, another I believe it and a doll of left. Now, i got to ask a question too. Uh, do you people, do you like olives? Like the food olives? I actually don't mind. I find them, uh, I like the salty ones probably the best. Um, compared to like, I mean, you can get like olives that I have like, I think they're sort of like hollowed out and they're like stuffed and stuff like that too. And there's another one that's like, um, it's almost like, I think it's like a hot, it's not like really, really hot, but I think it's like a mild uh, temperature one. It actually didn't taste too bad there. Um, something like that's probably my uh, favorite olives. But I wouldn't say I absolutely love them, but then, you know, they're not a bad little snack, you know, like some cheese and biscuits and stuff like that. But uh, do you like olives? Let me know your, uh, let me know your uh, thoughts on the food olives. I have the, um, actually the olives that I've got there are, are the ones on Dollar. I actually have some growing at my house. They're like, they've, they're these quite big green ones and uh, they don't go, uh, they don't go like a dark color like that. They just stay green. So I guess they're a different type of olives, like maybe like a, a darker black colored one or like, I don't know, different color ones. It's, it's interesting, I guess. I guess that's like the different like family uh, of the olives that are grown and stuff like that. We're, we're, do we we're doing a little uh, a little garden section in today's video. So uh, I'm trying to stall out this uh, Iron Jugglers. I really can't do much here. Um, I am very, very bulky on the special side, but unfortunately after repeated, you know, flame trials with flash cannons there, um, I can only do so much. So I've got one more Pokemon left. It's my, probably the favorite set on this team. And I was confident I could actually get rid of this um, if I could outspeed it. So I've got Flail, Trailblaze, Protect, and Endure. Now, this is a Harvest set too. So this is a Leechy Berry Harvest set. So what I wanted to do was first live the attack, which I did only just, but I did live it. Now that's going to boost up my attack. I've got Trailblaze here to boost my speed. Now, I actually was trying to get a sweep with this, and I think it's actually kind of possible. But uh, the only bad thing about it is I believe it has 39 in base speed. So I've got Jolly Nature, max speed, and max attack. And we're relying on a Terra Flail here. So it is pretty powerful. So to back that up, I'm going to go for Enduia to try and get another, like, a, a very activation uh, for my attack. Because, you know, plus one is definitely not going to be enough to take it out you know that is if i can outspeed so i'm going to be eating my second one there and since i'm in this low amount of health harvest can keep activating once a turn there has a 50 percent chance to actually do that when the sun's up you know it can activate all the time which is like you know really quite nice so i'm gonna get some more damage back there on the leech seed harvest is going to activate again giving me another berry i need a drink of water mm. Sorry about that. My, my, my throat is getting a little bit dry. I've actually, uh, I've actually narrated quite a lot of videos today. Today is the second upload too. So uh, yeah, if you haven't checked out the earlier video today, I did uh, the Elite Four Poppy uh, team. So I'm going to be going for that Terra Normal on my uh, Bolivia. And I was hoping I would outspent. Unfortunately, I'm going to get outspent by the play trial. And that is the end of the game. But a pretty interesting battle there. And a uh, cool uh, team from my opponent there. One if you guess what it is. Uh, let's go on to battle number two here. And I was like, I hope I can get this uh, R Bolivia set to work. Like the, the flail set. Uh, second battle here. This one is against Wint. And this is... <laughs> This is a pretty salty battle, let me tell you that. So first Pokemon is going to be the Houndoom. I've got my Smolov. Now, this Smolov is the Choice Specs one, I believe. No, wait, it's the Bullet Seed one. So it's going to go for a trick here, and the uh, Ring Tiger is going to get uh, put on my Smolov, and the Loaded Dice is going to go on the Houndstone here. So it's time for a little bit of Rapid Fire Bullet Seed action on the Houndstone. Obviously, it's not going to really do much damage at all on any So that's going to go for Last of Specs. I was, I was curious because I'm like, I wonder what they're doing in this set. Because Last of Specs is, uh, would, would be terrible as a first move. So I'm like, hmm, okay. I, I'm wondering why they did that. But, you know, as the battle goes on, you'll, you'll sort of find out why. Next Pokemon here is going to be Smolov again. I thought, well, I might as well use Smolov and uh, see if I can take this Hound Center. However, we got the Charizard coming up. Now, Charizard is a very, very good counter to this team. Because there's virtually nothing I can do. So now the Charizard is going to set up the sunny day. I'm like, oh, this is very bad. So I went for Leaf Storm, and this time it actually landed, but of course it's going to do trash damage. Now, this is interesting. So Charizard has got the solar power, it's going to do extra damage, and it's going to try and use Hurricane in the sun. So, you know, Hurricane is a very, very good move, but obviously in the sun, it's going to have less accuracy. So 
I found the interesting they used that set, so I thought, I think it's so far, all right, they've used last specs of the first Pokemon, which is, you know, going to be bad, and then they used Charizard with Hurricane in the Sun. Hmm, are you seeing sort of a pattern here? Anyway, so even though it does have decreased accuracy, it still is going to be extraordinarily strong there in the Sun, especially with Solar Power. So I'm going to go to our Bolivia, and I have to go for a Terra here. Something has to happen, because my team is getting absolutely, like, wiped at the moment. So I went for the Terra Normal uh, set here, and I was hoping maybe I could get a miss, and then try and get this uh, Trail Blaze set to work. So first things first, I need to live an attacking move, and Hurricane, I just lived on 11 health. It was very, very close. Now, one thing here, the sun is actually up at the moment. I thought I might be able to make use of my Harvest ability. So I've eaten my, uh, I've eaten my Leechy Berry, and I've got a Speed Boost up, which is good. So that's plus one in Speed. Now the uh, sun is going to fade, which sucks, and then I've got a Harvest. I'm like, okay, that's fine. At least I've got a, you know, another Berry here. So I'm going to be eating my uh, my Berry, giving me a, uh, a boost in my attack. Now I thought, yeah, maybe I go for Protection and see if I can get the... Uh, I've got a 50% chance to, uh, for Harvest to activate again. So Charizard obviously is going to use Hurricane there. I sort of can see what they're doing, but it'll come very much clear later on. So now I'm going to go for the Flail, and that is the end of the Charizard. So I outsped it, which is pretty cool. Must have been uh, running uh, Modest. So I'm going to be hitting my Leechy Berry here. That's going to give me another attack boost. So now I believe it's going to be hitting pretty hard with that Flail, for sure, you know, especially with Terra Normal. Next Pokemon is Espartha. I'm going to go for a Flail again. That's just going to wipe it out in one shot. Uh, no way that was living at all. Now, I knew the Houndstone would come out. I'm like, all right. What I should do here is I should go for Endure, Endure the attack, get another Leechy Berry, and then go for Trailblaze. But the Houndstone uses Roar. I'm like, come on. So there goes my Arbolivia sweep. I was very, very salty about that. So now my other Arbolivia uh, is going to be swapping in here, and I get the Quick Roll. Like, okay, that's that's nice. I might be able to get a little bit of damage here. I'm going to go for the Earth Power, and Earth Power doesn't take that. It lives on one health, and then it uses Destiny Bond. So... I can't do anything this turn because I don't want to sacrifice my Pokemon. So I was like, you know what? I'll just go for, you know, a normal Terra Blast. Since it's a normal type move, it won't affect the Hound Soon. And then, you know, Hound Soon is just obviously going to attack me with something, right? He won't be able to use our uh, last respects at least. So he went for another Destiny Bond. Now I'm going to finish off with the uh, Dazzling Gleam there. I did a little 12. So that's the end of the Hound Stone. So think about what's being used so far. Houndstone and then Charizard. So when it comes to Tyranta, it's going to get that Sandstorm going. And we've got a, a Terra here. It's like, oh, I wonder what sort of Terra that this, uh, you know, this uh, Tyranitar is going to have. It's got Terra Ghost. I'm like, hmm, that's an interesting Terra to run. So if it does have Terra Ghost, that means the Sand will actually do damage. And then it uses Rain. I'm like... Hmm, okay, it's used Terror and then a Ghost and then it's used Rain. Very interesting. So, Earth Power misses, so Tyranitar has got a, a freaking Bright Powder and then it used Fire Blast in the Rain. I'm like, I see now. So, what they're doing with their sets is they're deliberately making sure that they're going to have the lowest base power on these, like, powerful moves. So, Houndstone went first and used last specs at its you know lowest base power. Charizard used Hurricane in the sun. I guess it didn't power down, but it lowered its accuracy. And then the Tyranity used Fire Blast in the rain. So it's like I don't know what you'd sort of what the right word for this is. Um, other than meme, of course. They sort of like. Oh, I mean, I'm trying to come up with a word there. So you're sort of like self, like sabotaging your own like team or something. But I don't know. It's pretty funny. Right? It's like a troll team. I don't know. I'm trying to think of like another word. Anyway, uh, it'll it might come to me to say. So I'm going to bring out the dollar It is going to get uh, paralyzed by the uh, the rainy Tyranitar uh, with Thunder Wave. And now I'm going to go for Giga Drain. Giga Drain. Well, it isn't really doing too much damage at all. Now, another swap here from Tyranitar. I was like, okay, wonder what's coming here. It's going to be Rotom Fan. Like, I'm not a fan of this. So, it's going to have Air Balloons. Like, yep, it's definitely like a trolling team here. I actually did a team kind of similar to this recently. It was like, you know, I'd use Cloyce with Skill Link with loaded dice and stuff like that. So, it's sort of like, uh, it sort of uh, makes me uh, think it's a similar thing to that. So, I'm going to be paralyzed here. Now, there's not a lot I can really do here. I'm. I'm I guess I'm just going for a strength zap here. 
to try and get some attack drops there and uh, some health recovery. That's really all I can do. I, I actually can't do much. So the Rotom fan is going to be going for Confused Ray. So I was like, all right, this is going to be very fun because I'm already paralyzed and I've got Confusion at the same time. So, you know, what can I do in this situation? Uh, now the Rotom fan is going to get hit by a Dazzling Gleam. It does all right damage. Nothing really amazing. I popped that air balloon. You know, that's uh, that's such an important thing. And now it's going to go for double team. This is this is like pure scum. So I'm hoping I can maybe land another attack on this and get lucky and Dazzling Gleam misses. I'm like, okay, fair enough. Whatever. Here comes the Air Slash. Air Slash does lots of damage. And I, I guess they're hoping for a flinch here. You know, to flinch, uh, you know, double team. And you know, it's, it's a complete scum set. And it really does counter my team, like, like, really, really hard. So I managed somehow to get through that and get a Dazzling Gleam off, which was really, really surprising. And then I got a, a Quick Claw activation. And uh, I was still confused. I'm like, okay, this would be great if I get, like, you know, one more hit off against this Rotom. And I did. I was like, wow, that was some really good damage. But then it missed. I was like, oh, come on. Only a couple of double teams. Anyway, uh, Air Slash is going to fight my Arbolivia. And all I've got left is another Arbolivia and a Dolov. I don't think I can do too much with Dolov. So, like, all right, I need to get this uh, this sweep going, right? So, I've swapped it in. And I've got, like, three minutes left in this battle. This is a very, very long battle. Um, you know, I, I cut out a lot of things. I There were moments where I cut out, like, recovery, you know, from grassy terrain and leftover because Yuri knew that I had the items. It's like, it was literally, I want to say, like, another minute of recovery, like, items and stuff like that. So, Rotom confuses me, then swaps out, and then goes into Piranha because they know that I've got a uh, flail. You know, I've already used that already. Uh, now, the sand is going to be, uh, you know, coming again there, and I'm going to be confused. I was hoping I didn't hit myself. I didn't, but I used flail, so it didn't do anything. So, now I'm going to get hit by the sand, but there's still is grass on the field for, a, I guess, for a limited time only. Now that grass is going to be healed there. Tarantra actually gets hit by the sand, which is kind of funny. And uh, it's also going to be healed by the grass. So virtually nothing happened there. Then I harvested a, uh, a lychee berry, which is going to boost up my attacks. I thought, well, I, I guess I can go for Trailblaze. That's my best attack here. Then they swapped the turret out and went back into road. I'm like, all right, I know this is not going to do much damage, but if I land the Trailblaze, I might be able to outspeed Rotom. So I managed to get that Trailblaze off there. I, I know that I didn't do much damage, but I got a plus one in speed. So I might be able to outspeed this. I snap out of the confusion, outspeed, and take the Rotom out of the flower. So uh, that was very, very lucky there for sure. Like, I easily could have hit myself for confusion. So there's a Tyranitar and one other Pokemon left. I just went for Trailblaze here with 30 seconds left of the battle. That did no damage at all. Tarantula is now going to go for a Surf Disrespect and take out my Art Believer. Like, come on, man. <laughs> so I've got like one dollar left with, uh, well, one dollop of Tarantula left. And I've got my dollop here. I'm just going to go for uh, the Giga Drain. It's going to go for a Fire Blast. That does not take me out there. I'm so, so bulky. And Giga Drain fails to take out Tarantula. And that is the end of the battle. I'd say I would have lost this one. Like, I might have got around Tyranitar, but uh, the last Pokemon, I definitely could have. That is the end of the battle. The 20-minute time was hit there. Dolop doesn't look too happy about that. But, uh, yes, 20-minute timer is very, very annoying. But that's how it was. I'd say I would have still lost that, but a very trolley battle there for, for, for sure. All right, let's get on to this uh, third and final battle. This is a battle against Super Bowser. And we've got a very uh, a very skinny-looking Persian here. It's very, very skinny. I don't know. It needs some more uh, cat food or something like that. Some you know, cat nip or a bit of milk, you know, those sort of things. So it's going to try and clap my cheeks out. Well, it didn't try. It did. And it's going to clap my cheeks and fake out. And in comes Arctabax. So Arctabax is going to use some sort of ice-type move, I'm sure. So I went for a double flail there before I failed. And it's going to go for a dragon tail. Like, ah, that's why... Uh, that's why I outspent. So I actually got put on a low amount of health, which will sort of benefit me there with at least flare. So I'm going to go dollar there. It's going to go for a Dragon Claw. That's not going to do a lot of damage to me. And now I'm going to go for the Sunny Day. Now, Sunny Day actually uh, was very handy because I actually got to use my dollar strategy uh, uh, with the Harvest. Because I, I really, this is like the only battle where it like, truly worked quite well. So I got my Citrus Berry Harvest there, and then I could go for a Grove. So under the sun, I got an Attack Riser 2 and a Special Attack Riser 2, which is very, very, uh, you know, advantageous in this point in the game because I can get another Citrus Berry, and then I can start to attack. I know that my moves are probably not going to do much damage to this, but, uh, you know, sort of recovery from Giga Drain, unlimited supply of uh, Citrus Berry Harvest is going to be, like, really, really nice. I should be able to, you know, live all these attacks outside of getting maybe free sacks, of course. 
Now, the EVs on this set were, they weren't max special attack. That's the only thing. I was running max health and max defense. So I tried to make this, you know, somewhat bulky all around. But let's say I ran like max special attack, it would have been doing so much more damage. So I'm going to be going for another growth. So now I've got plus four in special attack. Uh, so I'm going to be doing like a lot of that. Well, a lot of damage to most things that aren't a killer watch -off. So it's going to be a physical set there. I got my first citrus break to activate. So that will be able to allow me to live the next judge, your wing bait. But I don't know about the next one. It's going to be very, very close. So now I'm going to hit two times for that. That's why they call it dual wing beat. And it's also going to have life orb on top of that. So Giga Drain actually does a really, really nice amount of damage there, which is uh, you know quite good. And I'm going to get some more health back. So that's going to have its energy drained and the uh, actually the sun fades there. However, I still roll the harvest, which is great. So that's going to give me another round of, uh, of healing there, which is very, very nice. Now, this time, I'm not going to have a Citrus Berry right at that after that first dual wing beat. So this time, I am going to fight. But that was actually pretty impressive, uh, the amount of time that actually lasted and the damage that it did. Like, I'd say if I had more special attack, like max special attack, that would have probably been, it could have been different. But then again, that uh, was a max defense set. So I lived those dual wing beats a lot better. So it was good for one thing, but not so good for the other thing for damage output. So I'm going to swap in my Smolov now. I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go for this. Let's go for a Terra Water Smolov. And the Killer Watch rule is going to go for a Roostier. I was like, oh, great. So I'm going to go for the Terra Blast Water. And Killer Watch rule lived on one health. It's unbelievable. And then they're going to spark up, try to spark up this relationship. And Smolov is going to fight. So that relationship failed. However... The Life Orb is going to take out the Killer Watch on one health. So that was really, really lucky. So that's the end of Small Love. That's probably, you know, that's probably uh, Small Love's best moment there. And now comes Love This. So Small Love versus Love This. So I've got the type advantage. So now we got our Love This. It's going to be going for a Terror. So Love This actually doesn't have, you know, that bad a speed there, especially if we've got Swiss Wing. You know, it's quite a fast Pokemon. So it's going to be a Terra Normal Love This. It almost looks like a, uh, a little Love love uh, Wedding Ring. And it's going to be Terra Normal Tackle. That is very, very cruel there. I, don't like, I really didn't appreciate being fainted by Tackle. Now, the next Pokemon is going to be here, uh, uh, I believe it. So we're going to go for our, you know, we're going to try and get rid of this thing because it's a troll. So we've got uh, Love This swapping out and Ori Corio coming in here. And Earth Power's not going to do anything. So that, oh, that really, really sucks. And that's going to go for a Revelation Dance. That's going to be doing a lot of damage, but I do tank it. You know, I've got that uh, I've got that max health. So c is going to activate, uh, putting the grass in the field. I just went for terrain piles because I knew I'd get hit by a tacky move. And, you know, it does about as much damage as I could, uh, you know, do there. This is the uh, Orikaru port. If you like Orikaru, I have done an updated team of all the Orikaru's. Actually, I think I've done that twice, but I have done a Scarlet and Violet version. You can check it out. It's really, really good. I did all the, you know, the doubles battle with Dancer and things like that. So I went for another Terrain Pulse there. It actually had Air Cutter, and then it used Growl Throat Spray. I'm like, oh, that's, a, that's an interesting sort of combination. So the next turn, I was very lucky because I got a Quick Horn out, sped it before I could attack, and that is the end of the uh, Oricorio there. So Quick Horn sort of... Uh, you know, got my uh, got me out of the fire there. Not that I believe it could probably you know survive in a fire too long. So in comes Love This. They tried to disrespect tackle, but it's not going to work. And I'm going to finish him off there with a Terra, a Terrain Pulse, um, Terrain Pulse, a Terrain Pulse uh, Grass move. So next Pokemon is going to be Persian. Now I know that Persian coming in and go for the fake out. I got to quit on the fake out, but fake out is still going to go first. Uh, due to priority, and that is the end of Oblivia. Now the Seed Sower is going to get set up again. The only bad thing about Seed Sower being set up is when I tried to use my Flail set, sometimes it would put me out of range of, like, the, you know, most high base power Flail, and even the Leechy So I was like, all right, we'll give it a go. So the uh, Perch is going to go for a Slash, so it's like a critting set. Uh, thank goodness this isn't Pokemon Stadium, and uh, I got some pretty good damage here on the Persian with my Trailblaze. Now, Persian is very, very fast, so I'd say I'm going to need at least two Trailblazes to outpace it. Plus, it does have Fake Out, too, so i got to remember that. Next Pokemon is Revavroom. I'm going to go for Trailblaze again. Now, this thing is going to resist all of my moves. So I thought, right, I need to get as many Trailblazes up as I can and, of course, Leechy Berry activations, but I wasn't really sure what type of move it would be using. So now it's going to go for a Spin Out. Spin Out does lots. I lit that fairly well. 
And it's going to have a speed drop there. Now they're going to swap their river room out. I think I just missed Leechy Berry as well. And in comes Octopack. So I just went for Endure here in hopes that, you know, it will attack again. Now the grass is gone. I was like, okay, that's good. So now I can go for Endure. Hopefully this will use Ice Beam again like it did earlier on. And it did. So it's like, okay, please no Freeze Axe. Please no Freeze Axe. Please no Freeze Axe. And it didn't happen, so which is good. So I'm going to uh, leave that hit, and now the Leechy Berry is going to activate, giving me a plus one attack. So now Flail is at its highest base power, and uh, I got another Harvest, so I got two, I got a plus two there right on the spot. So I'm like, ooh, it's going to be interesting to see how much damage I'm going to be able to do against that River Room, even though, you know, it does actually, um, it does resist it. So uh, Arctabax is absolutely not going to live that, and then I found another Leechy Berry, so I got... I think I've got like plus four an attack right now. And correct me if I'm wrong. So uh, plus four an attack at this stage. So next is Rev Room to come out. Of course, it's going to resist it. And I'm going to go protect the king. So I was like, you know what? I may as well try and get another attack boost. And uh, it's going to go for its uh, spin out. Of course, uh, spin, well, any move will take out me on one health at this point in the time. So uh, I get another harvest. But it was so lucky because I, I was rolling them at 50% chance every single time. So now I've got plus five an attack. Uh, with, te with Stab, and that just drops River Room. This is very, very, like, crazy offensive now. So, that's the end of that. And then I got another one, so I got plus six in attack flail at the moment. I truly believe I can definitely get a sweep with this there. Like, seriously, because, like, um... Once a trail blazes go, it's not bad. So I know the uh, Persian's obviously going to try and use Fake Out. So I went for the Endure again, and Fake Out is not going to affect me. So I'm like, well, I'm at plus six in attack now. I can't get any more boost. Flail is going to take out the skinny Persian, and that is the end of that. So I believe we have finally got like a little mini sweep there at the end. Hope you enjoyed it, people. I'll catch you next time. Peace out.